Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a concept that comes a lot, up a lot in Python, and that is you know multiple return values and unpacking and all of the different ways that you can you know manipulate variables using the comma. And we'll also be talking about generalized unpackings, which are pretty new in Python, uh, but I think they're pretty cool. But anyway, let's jump into that. Okay, so. Um, Put some context in what I'm talking about. Let's open up a Python ter terminal. Interpreter. <laughs> so normal assignments in Python are just like x equals 2. So the, the right-hand side is a number, and the left-hand side is a variable. Uh, but you can actually do multiple assignments in Python. And the way, well, there's two multiple assignments. We're going to be talking about the unpacking assignment today. Um, where on the left-hand side, you have some comma-separated thing. And on the right-hand side, you can you know, have any sort of iterable. It can be a list, it can be a tuple, it can even be a dictionary, which actually does some weird stuff. But uh, if we do this and we print x and we print y, you can see that we're able to assign both of them using one statement. And the way this kind of works, you can kind of think about it this way, is you take the left-hand side and uh, I'm going to represent that with, or right-hand side, I'm going to represent that with RHS, so right right-hand side being this thing here. Um, and you can kind of think of it as doing this. If it turns this into an iterable. You don't have to worry about this function. It's not super important, but it's syntax sugar that does this. Uh, and then it takes these values here and calls, you know, next on that iterable. Does like x equals next RHS and then y equals next RHS. This is just a way to advance an iterator. I'll probably do a whole video on iterators later, but don't don't worry so much about this. But you can see that that does basically the same thing. So that's that's comma multiple assignment. Uh, we're not going to talk so much about the other multiple assignment, which you can do. You can kind of have a, a chained assignment in Python, and that'll set both x and y to the right hand side value. But we're going to be talking about unpackings, which is this comma. And unpack unpackings and packings to an extent actually come up in a lot of contexts. In Python, this is how functions implement multiple return values. Uh, so if we you know, make a function that returns one comma two, uh, this is actually making a tuple. See here we have a, a tuple, and the type of that is tuple. Um, and you can assign this just to a normal variable. So, you know, foo equals f. You can see foo is that tuple. Uh, but often when you're returning a tuple of multiple things, you actually want to assign that to multiple variables. Uh, and so you kind of can unpack both of the return values. You do like x comma y equals f. And you can see x and y are one and two. Probably should have used, you know, two different variables because we already used f, x and y and that might be left over from before uh, but anyway there's z and a assigned to one and two so that's the basics of this uh unpackings can actually occur in a bunch of different places so the the first one that we saw was in assignments you can also have them in loops so let's make uh some list that has i don't know one two three four the iterator part of the for loop can unpack variables as well. So you can do for a comma b in list. And if we you know, print a, print b, this should print one and then two and then three and then four, because uh, a will get the value one and then it'll get the value three. And actually, let's, uh, it's too late to fix the line above, but <laughs> let's at least print out which ones are b. Uh, yeah, so you get, one and three for A and two and four for B. So this is this is an unpacking here. <clears throat> now unpackings can actually get kind of complicated. Uh, let's say that we had a new list that was just this value here. Now you can actually unpack from this directly into two variables if you wanted to get this value here and this value here uh, by, a s <laughs> this is it's a little bit esoteric. Um, but you can make a double unpacking here. So this first comma unpacks this outer list, and then this inner comma unpacks this inner tuple. So if we do this now, we can see that A and B are one and two. So that's kind of the next level of unpackings. And uh, what is another context they can appear in? We had for loops, we had assignments. Uh, they can also happen in context managers, which I'll do a whole video about context managers as well. <laughs> 
uh, context lib dot context manager. I'm just gonna make a very simple context manager here and have the most basic, you know, multiple yield. So instead of multiple return, we're doing multiple yield here. And if we do with CTX as, and now this one's actually kind of tricky. Uh, context managers have special meaning of the comma here, and that's supposed to supposed to mean that there are multiple context managers. This is actually going to change slightly in Python 3.9, which I'm super excited about. Um, but I'll, I'll talk about that again in another video. Uh, but the comment has special meaning in that this is a context manager and this is a context manager, but that's not what we want here. We want to actually unpack these values. So you have to explicitly put parentheses around this unpacking. It's a little bit different than, than usual. But. And if we print that, uh, print b equals, uh, this is using a, a nifty feature from Python 3.8, which will automatically put the expression and then an equal sign, but you can see that's another way you can do unpacking. And lastly, let's talk about generalized unpackings. Uh, actually, there was one thing that I wanted to mention earlier, which is a weird thing about dictionaries. So this requires any literal or any, not literal, any iterable on the right-hand side. So you can actually do this with dictionaries, and it probably doesn't do what you would expect. Like, I, I would almost expect this to be a type error, except I know how it works. So. Um, but what this actually does is it'll assign the string A to X and the string B to Y. And the reason for that is if you do, you know, iter of a dictionary, and this goes back to that explanation that I had before. Uh, I forgot a curly brace somewhere. No, extra, uh, extra quotes. Uh, if you do next of dict iter here, the first thing it's going to give you is A, and the next thing gives you is B. And that's because making an iterator out of a dictionary iterates over its keys. So, a little bit weird there. Okay, last but not least, uh, generalized unpackings. In Python 3, and what was the pep number for that? I have it written down. Pep 448. <clears throat> introduced another way to do unpackings. So let's make another list. Firefox, we don't want to do that. And generalized unpackings makes it really easy to pull things from the beginning or from the end of this list. So maybe I only cared about the first value in here. Uh, and one way you could do that is by doing, you know, list zero equals, uh, well, x equals list zero, and maybe you wanted the rest of the things to be in another variable. So you might do x equals list zero, and y equals list one colon. This is a, a slice from the first element onwards. As you can see, x is one and y is this sequence here. But this isn't always, you know, the nicest code to write. Uh, and of course you could put that on one line. So you could do x comma y equals list zero, list one colon, uh, LST. And you know, that, that works the same. But pet 448 introduced a built-in syntax that makes this a little bit easier. And you can actually use a star to do a um, more, I want to say generalized unpacking because that's what it's called, but it's a it's a more generalized unpacking. Uh, so you can do x comma star y, or is it y star? I think it's star y. <laughs> you can tell I don't use it very often. Uh, and this will do the same as we saw above. One uh, one gotcha with this is it will always be the list type. So even if you have a tuple on the right hand side, um, Y will always be a list. And this, I believe, is just an implementation detail. I don't know if that's specified somewhere. Maybe it is. I don't know. But anyway, this has been unpackings. Hopefully this has been useful and you know, maybe you'll, you'll find yourself returning multiple values or uh, easily unpacking variables. But yeah. I hope you enjoy it. If you have additional stuff you want me to see, leave a comment below or reach out to me on any of the various platforms. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.